presentation of the Everlasting Arms Ministries. Join us at www.everlastingarms.org.uk Sit upon any man's glory and says they are not going to reach. You know, the Lord raised me to restore people back to their destiny. <laughs> so when someone refuses you to go ahead or sit on your glory, he's looking for trouble brimstones with lightning added with fire we look at them in the name of jesus praise the lord Hallelujah. i just want to thank god for today because i was thinking i'm not coming to church when i was dressing my children ruth told me that mommy i don't know how i'm feeling and i was like what do you mean she said, then the next thing, I saw lots of blood coming out of her mouth and coming out of her nose. I just said, devil, you are a liar. I'm, as for me, I'm going to church. And then I just grabbed my bag. I grabbed Ruth. I said, let's go to church. I said, if the enemy wants to kill you, let the enemy kill you in the everlasting arm ministry. Uh -huh. And I just thank God. That's when I came to this church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything stopped. I give God all the glory, the honor, Hallelujah. the adoration, and I worship him for his work and his faith in Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. Tola Idowu, come out. Tola Idowu, come out. Okay, her shoe and her dress won't allow her to run. Frank, get my oil for me quickly. Baby, wait. Come. Stand here. They were licking your hand in the spirit realm. No, no, don't need that. Just stand. And so the blood coming out of your hand, and I was asking, so I grabbed your hand in a revelation overnight. He said, why should your hand be licking? Who is taking blood out of your hand? And I said to you that you should lift up this, the right hand. Then you lifted it up. And I saw that the blood that was leaking in your right hand was getting to your left hand. And I'm trying to find where is something leaking and what is behind it. And I had a voice that spoke to me. He said, you know you can kill who is behind it. You can maim who is behind it. Or you can blind who is behind it. So it's my choice to decide what I'm going to do now. Then I said, lift up the hand. Again, you lifted it up. And I touched your hand. And the blood that was leaking out stopped. You're about to claim back your blessing. Yeah. You know what? You spoke what we call the battle cry. Many, many years ago, I told the woman, I said, you take your son. When you get home, I command your home to become an altar. When you put your son on the floor, tell that son, say, if you're going to die, die now. If you're going to live, you live now. But you are not staying in this problem. He said, Pastor, I say, you see what will happen if you can face that. Oh, I love your battle cry. If you're going to die, let them kill you in the Valassians. Let's see. And I don't know the demon who can follow you here to come and kill you. Because you know why? Because you are standing with the, with the Lord. You've never want, you know, you know, this is the thing. When you pray for me, you pray for my wife, God will show you revelation and you'll be praying. All the prayers you were praying, you did not know you were sowing into your own life. So when you then say, the demon that wants to kill you, let it go and kill you in everlasting hands. That demon has stopped. Yeah. And we return that demon of death back to his sender. Yeah. We decree in the name of Jesus. You see, you will see the children of children of these children. Yeah. Eternal rock of ages, you are the prince of peace. I anoint this vessel for life. Amen. Elijah, I anoint you for life. Amen. You will not see death. Amen. You will see life. Amen. You will live long. Amen. Your husband too will live long. Amen. I now I speak into eternity. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 
I decree by the power of the Holy Spirit any power in the spirit or the physical that is anointed any household enemy that is anointed any power that is so mad that you are together and Jehovah is blessing you. I command madness to kill that power. Whosoever send death to fight you, death shall kill them. I will draw your names from the altar of death. Amen. From the diary of death. Amen. You will live and you will live longer. Amen. You will live and you will live well. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be in Jesus name. Amen. Don't leave it. Just keep holding it. Take the left hand away from it. Hold it very well. Don't leave it. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 says, The spirit, oh my goodness me. I thought you'd be cutting it for me. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 says, Tell all the remaining ones to go and sit down. I've started now because we're going to close. We have to end up in 1.30. Tell them we'll do that testimony, the testimonies next week. Mission of the Everlasting Arms Ministries. Join us at www.everlastingarms.org.uk